Studio Lounge. Let's go get some coffee. Yes. Oh, cool. Different theme. Okay. Let's get coffee. And they do have snacks if you want a piece of fruit or a cookie or some other breads. Oh, hello. And then the wines for two and a half ounces. You see that right there? Nia, the steward, is in the in the room right now, so I wanted to give her some privacy, you know, getting cleaned up. I didn't want to hover over her, so I'm hanging out in the studio lounge just for a little bit, and then um, I will go get changed and get around for lunch. I'm going to Food Republic for the last time. I'm excited about that. It's going to be, it's going to be delicious, and I'll probably go to the spa again <laughs> before dinner. What is this? And I can't even say that's the lighting. Those are my sparkles. Hey, welcome back. It's great to see you. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the videos, give me that thumbs up and subscribe so you can hang out for these awesome adventures. And I'm Erica and I'm coming to you from Crushed. coming to you from the Norwegian Bliss and today is our, our last day so it's the, the seventh day we're cruising back from Cabo was our last trip and that was yesterday. I've in, absolutely enjoyed myself but I just finished lunch in um, the Food Republic for the last time and I'm really thankful for Genevieve. She was absolutely wonderful and, and talked with me every time I came into Food Republic. But her and the chef, they absolutely spoiled me. If you ever get a chance to cruise on Norwegian, I highly recommend checking them out. The food is fantastic and I'll probably go back up to the spa again later. Got to pack and get everything around to get off the ship pretty early in the morning. And tomorrow we are getting off the ship and we're going to Rodeo Drive. So I'm closing out the, the cruise and of course I'll show one more video after this one of me getting home. You know the disembarkation process and then going through Rodeo Drive. But today I wanted to talk about the things that I learned. Let's see, I've, re I've really been thinking about what I did differently on this cruise versus the Royal Caribbean four-day cruise. What I didn't do is I didn't tell them in the beginning that I had some dietary needs. And I I learned from that for this cruise was to talk with the maitre d' in the very beginning so that all of the venues I went to, they would know Erica's got a pre-order. I asked if I could just do chef's choice. Cruises don't always they're not always able to get exactly specifically the things that you need and I'm, they really really try to get everything but um i thought it would be more beneficial one to be surprised two for the chefs to, to have the ability to be creative didn't learn a hard lesson on that one but i learned that that is the best thing to do is to make sure that you're not only looking at the different menus that are offered um, in each of the venues and familiarizing yourself with what is going to be on the ship but also having that conversation with the maitre d'. That way you get to know somebody, they know you know your dietary needs, and you just also get a chance to build that relationship. And it worked out in my favor 100%. So I hope that the lesson that I learned, and it encourages you to have that conversation with the crew about what you might need while you're on vacation. Because the last thing you want to do is get on a cruise and have something that's going to upset the system or flare up an autoimmune disease and then just ruin the whole experience. And that did not happen at all. Okay, and then the second thing I learned based on the errors that I had made prepping for the freedom of the seas with the COVID testing for Norwegian, you don't have to get a COVID test before you come to the terminal. And here's the kicker. If you come to the terminal on embarkation day and you test positive and you didn't do a professional COVID test within 96 hours of that cruise, you may not be reimbursed. And I say may not, you're probably not gonna be reimbursed for your cruise and expenses. But if you do a COVID test and you're negative, 
So within 96 hours of the embarkation date, and then you get to the terminal and you test positive, then Norwegian is going to work with you to get those expenses reimbursed. So that's something that I learned and I did a proctored at home test. Everything worked out perfectly. And by the time you watch this, this is already going to be 2022. You never know, it changes all the time. That was the second thing I learned, you know, make sure that even though the cruise line doesn't mandate that you do the, the test prior to embarkation, to go ahead and have that, you know, second layer of we have an additional layer of security. Oh my gosh, I just had a brain fart. Oh, wow. Words. Yep. I. Ugh. Okay. And then the last thing I learned, which I think is the most important. I really enjoy cruising solo. This is my second one and I, it feels pretty awesome, but I would rather be cruising without it. It's one of... <laughs> The, the other peas in this harms Colby pod. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounded so lame. But yeah, no, I mean, he's my best friend. We've been married for 14 years and he's my rock, he's my wooby. And in any kind of situation where I'm having anxiety and I feel that fire in my belly, you know, he's there. You know, even though I spent 20 years in the Air Force and have gone on tons of, you know, trips and stuff without him, but I always had a mission. I always had a mission. I had taskers that I knew needed to be taken care of, but then now there's no left and right. It's completely different. What I wanted to do was try to be able to build good coping skills for situations where it might be so low. And the anxiety for me has been, in some, some situations, has been uh, debilitating and it's no way to live a life. <laughs> this is vulnerable, but I want people to understand that it, you can build really good coping skills to help you navigate through those adventures. So the third thing that I learned was really trust in yourself and give yourself more credit. You don't have to get so far past your comfort zone to where you're ruining the experience or you're just not having a good time or you feel unsafe, you know, and that's not the point. You know, the experiences I've had and what I've seen on my vacations and how I've been able to navigate through having anxiety and really still wanting to love that life <laughs> and, and get out here and have adventures and try something new. I really hope that my experiences and what I've learned will help you and encourage you to go on those those adventures and try something new um, and trust in yourself and give yourself more credit. Just really love the life that you're in. Try something new. Get to the edge of your comfort zone. And of course, in anything you do, anything at all, make sure you get out there and you just crush it. Dis disembarkation? Disembarkation? De-embarkation? When I get off the ship. The world is yours, strike them with your glow. Go on now, be good, be fine, live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind, live, it's your life. Books are meant to be picked up and thrown New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown But you know where to go if you follow that heart One step at a time we all play our part Go on now Be good Be fine Live your life Dream big, don't forget To be kind Live, it's your life Go on